What's goody, everyone, and welcome back to Godzilla Unleashed. In the last episode, we finished off the Mutant playthrough, and today we're going to be starting the last playthrough that we were going to be doing for this game. So now, I said in the last episode that we were going to be starting the Alien Faction, and that I had made several decisions based on who I actually wanted to pick. See, originally I wanted to go with Mecha Godzilla, but seeing as how we did get a lot of Mecha Godzilla throughout the playthrough, I think I ultimately decided against it. Plus, it's someone who I've played as before. King Ghidorah, we obviously played as Mecha King Ghidorah, so I think that's gonna kick his ass out. Gigan. I mean, well, if you if you know if you know if you saw it till the end of the last video, you know who I'm gonna pick. So, let's just say that I'm not picking Megalon because he sucks, and Orga I've never really been that big of a fan of. So yeah, it's time for Gigan to rise! Gigan's always been one of my favorite kaiju ever, like, period. I fucking love Gigan. Gigan's always been the best. He's always been the man. He's always been my favorite like, bad guy in Godzilla. Ghidorah's up there, but Gigan's design is just unbeatable. So I think we're gonna take out, uh, this Ghidorah right here. Overwrite the story. Might as well, because it's an alien playthrough. And we're gonna go start out with our alien playthrough in, of course, Osaka, Japan. Clandestine incursion. What the fuck? Osaka has been enveloped by a cloud of deadly gases and asses, making it impossible to get a clear fix on the happenings within the city. It's possible that there may be a monster activity within the smog, but we are currently unable to investigate, as all available mecha units are already dispatched. Oh, so we're already in- we're getting into it when it's already began. My pets. The redemption of the Vortok is at hand. We have risen from the ashes of... So yeah, Bortok was last defeated. Hours. We've come to deliver Earth from the plague of humanity. We've, uh, I think we've seen this already. Stronger, better equipped. But yeah, the Bortok was last defeated by Godzilla when he defeated Soon Space Godzilla, who was right under control by the Bortok and sealed him in another dimension. ...and their mutated monstrosities are no match for the deliciously destructive surprise we have in store And yeah, the leader of the Vortok is basically Soon just a regular fucking anime villain or just a regular villain. The They're just a generic villain, she's just her assault. fucking scarlet Initiate on nails my right mark. there. My queen, we're picking up an anomalous disturbance, aft quadrant. An asteroid? Action, so yeah, that asteroid kind of appears from a void. That's how you can tell that it, it's from Space Godzilla. Will somebody please give me a damage report? Because that's My from queen. the dimension We've where Space Godzilla came to our number from. Three repulsor. Massive radiation from Probably the asteroid trying to has break disabled the our the capabilities. Off. This can't be happening. We'll have to abort our attack. So yeah, this oh, is basically how the mutant planter started. Down while we make repair. It is but we're not going to be standing down. Would make itself known now on the eve of our historic victory. Yes, it's no Yet coincidence. Someone, or something has their eye on my prize. Shouldn't Earth have like done something more about like the Vortok at this point? Like they've been a pain in our ass for three games, and now they're just like, yeah, it'll, it'll just leave leave Earth open. You know, not do anything about it. So yeah, now it's time for the guy again. And hey look, we got some backup in Megalon. Hey, it's Angurus. We haven't seen much of Angurus. So basically, it's our job as aliens to just wreak fucking havoc. Guy gets a little bit faster than any of the other monsters that we've played as so far. Gigan is, you know, one of my favorite monsters, as I said. It was from Godzilla vs. Gigan, that's where he made his initial debut. Um, Gaian has had legendary battles with Bunker in the past, and when the Earth was brand new, he came, uh, he came, he came! As another, like, uh, monster, I guess, you know, from space, kind of like King Ghidorah. And he's always been a massive thorn in Godzilla's side, forever. He's basically the number two villain 
of the entire Godzilla series. I mean, you, I guess you could consider that Mecha Godzilla, but it's really been the guy again. Um, so yeah, we're just destroying Osaka, Japan. I didn't know they had, like, these big twin tower things in Japan. Also, I did say that there was going to be a thing I was going to look into how we can reveal new monsters in the, uh, actual, you know, on the levels where it says to reveal a new monster in the, in the pause screen. But ultimately, I couldn't find how you, you know, like, I couldn't find a way to make that possible. I don't think, I think it's just a glitch in the game. So why don't we just fuck up Angers? Because that's basically what you guys want to see, right? So Guy Gandhi, despite having wings, he can't fly, but he can teleport, although I don't really know how to do the teleport. Despite Guy Gan usually being one of the faster Gaiju, at least in these games, he's just kind of slow, but every character in this game is pretty slow. And Angers is fucking us up, like both of us. But yeah, Guy Gan is awesome. Why? I can't hit him because he's always covering his shit. And he's very short. Let's try to get him to grab. Oh, nope, I just did a teleport. Apparently I knew how to do it. It's kind of how you would fly. Oh, and Guy Gan getting the... Angurus getting the fucking buzzsaw up his ass. Also, as I said before, Guy Gan... Not Guy Gan. Uh, Angurus is the only kaiju that in this game, I believe, that doesn't have, like, a regular roar. I mean, doesn't have a regular... Fuck. Doesn't have a regular, like, uh... Like, ray, basically. The way he attacks with his, uh, energy thing. Energy beam is not an energy beam at all. It's actually just a, uh, what do you call it? It's, um, just his, like, he shoots, like, sonic waves from his mouth. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Um, so, anyways, guy again normally only shoots a tiny mini laser if you just tap the button. Let's just show it off. I think he has it. Oh no, he doesn't do it in this game, that's right. But yeah, a guy again usually just shoots a laser that kind of splits apart. That only that doesn't go very far. Um, but now they kind of, or in these games, they kind of give him just a regular sort of eye laser thing. Why'd what, what, he hurt himself there? I didn't realize how much of a formidable, like, opponent, uh, what's his face, uh, Angurus would be. <laughs> that didn't do anything to him. They really gave him, like, OD defenses in this. Let's try to charge up. Don't shoot me, dick! I'm on your side! Fucking this guy is hurting me right now. Someone should be helping Angurus right now. And yeah, this guy again, as I might have said before, is based off of... The amazing Godzilla Final Wars design, the best design for Guy Gan, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion. Although they didn't give him his shooting discs that he has, usually. Come on. I don't know if you can get into beam battle with Angers. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can do shit to Angers if he keeps fucking me up. But yeah. Guy Gan in Final Wars actually has chainsaw hands, which is pretty fucking awesome. Come on, let me get here right now. Fucking damn it, Megalon, you bitch! You stole my kill! This is why we fucking hate Megalon. Megalon is also, as I might have said before, has worked with Guy Gan in the past. In uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon, which is also where Jet Jaguar was uh, made his debut. So Guy Gan and uh, Megalon, they're, they're some friends. New York has been one of the city's hittest hit it. <laughs> hardest hit by this crystal meteor shower. Approximately half the city is now uninhabitable. I've, trust me, it was already fucking uninhabitable. A few monsters entered the city in search of the power rating from the large red crystals. I don't know if we've seen the red crystals yet. Picked up an unidentified alien monster heading toward New York. Oh, this is new. Your hunch may be right. It has to be the Vortok. It has to be the Vortok. They must be after the power surge crystals. I believe Order I have seen this mecha units to intercept. Yes, sir. This could be just a prey to a full-scale invasion. Is it gonna be Jet Jaguar again? The council. Our monsters will no. defend. Guy Gan's probably one of the main monsters, down. so it's probably gonna be Kiryu. We're probably gonna be dealing with some of the main players. We didn't deal with Guy Gan that much throughout the game, besides our first initial playthrough as Godzilla. But since we saw way more of Mecha Godzilla, I I want Guy Gan to get his time in the shine, his time in the sun. And yep, it is Kiryu. 
And I don't... Oh, no, we might have seen these crystals before. That's orange. That's not red. All right. So, basically, like the mutant playthrough, we're gonna want to use all this crystal stuff for ourselves. So, basically, instead of freeing Kiryu from the power of the crystals, we're gonna want to just kick his monkey ass. Also, and I, I do want to show, I think Kiryu looks fucking awesome like that, though, and I don't even like Kiryu. I think Kiryu looks fucking awesome like that, though, honestly. And I am, I am what they call a Kiryu hater. Just because he's kind of just like a... Yeah, he's, he's got a cool design enough. Um, I think what we're gonna want to do... Is charge up really quick. Just so we don't have to deal with Kiryu. And we're gonna back away slowly. We can't slide around though like Biolante anymore. Can I throw you? Oh no, he picked me up first. Alright, now let's let's actually break some of this crystal shit. Just so we can get, uh, see what Gigan looks like when he's ultra-powered. Let's, let's blow our, our- What? It's supposed to blow our fucking laser at him. Unfortunately, in the PS2 version of this game, you don't get this version of Gigan. It's, which, I mean, you get the old version of Gigan. Which, I mean, is a cool design in itself. But still, it's like, like, what the fuck? Like, how are you gonna just do that? To, to all of those people. Aha! And there is our mutant monster. What the fuck? I couldn't even do anything about that. Come on, let's racket ball. Boom. Yeah. Now the mutant should be kind of in good graces with us, so I think what we're gonna want to do is just make sure that he doesn't kill, uh, hear you there, and we get the final blow. So for now, let's let's take a walk. Let's go and take a walk! Yeah, cause Gigan just froze! Yeah, we did a teleport at blows! Yay! We gotta kill Mechagodzilla 3! Gigan is the best out of the three aliens! Like Ghidorah and uh, Megalon. Just look at those jabs, man. Gigan looks sick like this, man. Let's do a little pose. Gigan's, uh, like, uh, roar was always cool, in my opinion. Come on, run! Now we're getting back into the fight. Before he, the Mechagodzilla just gets Rectorino the Pepperino. Wait, I can't even see Megalon right now. That's kind of sick. I'm gonna lose this already. Oh no, we can, we can just take from this crystal. So yeah, now that we're an alien, we really don't have to worry about, you know, abusing crystal powers in any any slightest. Like, no, no one's gonna be pissed off at us. Uh, apparently the aliens don't like when we do that. What the fuck? That doesn't make much sense. Why would they not like that? Oh no, there goes the Empire State Building. Oh, and it just disappears like that. Alright, so we gotta make sure that Kiryu gets destroyed by us. Come on, let me grab him. Fucking damn it, you bitch! Damn it. <laughs> I just said I wanted Kiryu to get destroyed by us, and Mega Gears again being a pain in my fucking ass. Alright, whatever. Um, we've already been to Osaka, we've been to Japan, let's go to London. Mayday, mayday. Oh god, General Gaio is in. Mayday! Mayday! Anti-gravity vortex! GDF mecha unit! And Skyozen being a piece of shit! Blah blah blah! So gentlemen, as you can see, we are- And ladies! There's a girl there! There's multiple girls there! Why- why just say gentlemen, you scum diddly um? And we also have the monsters that are taking a shit all over the planet right now! Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, severe climate shifts. They're even beginning to affect Earth's gravitational flow. Not yes, to mention that we now yeah. have monsters running Monsters right everywhere! Under. You've heard me say this for they now the fourth time, and it is still pissing me off that the crystal is in my ass! It was the crystal meteors. They caused That's the not fair! The monsters have only no destroyed way. part of the world. Enough. Young lady, they make her look so Admiral angry. Yosin, please. The escaped monsters have not See, look, there's a lady the right there. What, why are you saying These only gentlemen? Could, however, Listen to Jason Statham. We must take action to stop them from spreading further. 
for I fear this could be the end of civilization yes. as we know it. We know. Solutions, we know. people. Well, since well, they are so gone, to be out the of one ideas, ship that can save I the entire human race, and yeah, that is what I should the power. The vessel available to us. Our maser weapons have proven ineffective against the crystals. I'll use Atragon's drill nose to shatter them from underground. Admiral, from underground? He, that thing is it not once gone underground. You the, Atragon. the ship is in no condition for battle. I wonder if so Gaiozen was actually like the general that kept, that, that was in charge of the Atragon like in the movie. No one has a better understanding of the I have no idea though. Than myself. Now it's, I will so it's a very obscure reference. Atragon. With for like worldwide audiences because Atragon is a very obscure a movie not even like kaiju fanatics tend to talk about it that much Manda especially is one of the more forgettable kaiju with Gigan or Godzilla how many scores do you have to settle fucking old man alright well now we're gonna go see London not France although France would have probably been a cool stage to be on I love the way that sounds. Guy against the shit. Hey, it's Gogeta! Is it just him? Yep, it's just, now we're settling an old score. Let's get over there and fuck up Godzilla. How the fuck did Godzilla get up here anyway? But now let's, let's settle this Godzilla. Kicking the shit out of him. And I'm pretty sure this isn't where we saw Guy Gant first. No, con concentrate on Godzilla. Yeah, especially because I hate this Godzilla design. Oh, they got the... How do they get the fucking ice cannons up here in the fucking sky of fucking Sokovia? Also, why did they make us face fucking Anguirus first if Godzilla is, like, clearly, like, uh, lesser of a threat? I mean, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. They're just fucking Godzilla up. Come on. Bah, bah. Hit him with the jab, jab, left hook, right hook. Poke, poke, poke. Yeah, that's right. Get him with his fucking pincers, guy again. Come on. <laughs> he is no match for us. I wish this would actually happen in a Godzilla movie. Speaking of Godzilla movies, I would really love it if somehow they incorporate Guy again into the monster verse. He's just a such a dope fucking monster to not include. I know I said I would love to see Destroya next. Up. And I wouldn't like to see fucking Mogira, but apparently we have Mogira. Also, I think I just teleported. Up, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know if this ends when we get to take care of Godzilla, but let's take out him first. Oh, I thought it said let's take out Mogira. I was gonna say. Come on. No, you bitch. Before Mogira just comes sliding his ass over here. Oh, he countered with a takedown. Come on, Godzilla, don't you dare get a second win now. God, all the way over there. Bop, 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 bop. Damn it, he's getting a second win. That's kind of how Godzilla functions, though, so it makes all sense. Come on, just get him, just get him, just take him out real quick. Come on, bop, bop, bop. And then, can we kill our first monster? Hit him! Yeah, fuck you. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's, oh man, I thought we were about to fall off, honestly. Let's go get uh, some more crystal power. If, even if it's going to piss off the aliens, it's not going to piss them off that much to where they stop fucking with us. And if it does, you know, fuck them. We're doing their dirty work. Come on, run, guy again. Run! Oh my god, look at how fast this fucker is trampling over everything. Let's go. Yeah, he's jealous. Let's punch him, too. Oh, come on, that shouldn't have been enough to lift us off the ground. Come on, pick him up! Yeah! Let's get those combos up. Get them. Bah! Oh, what? He can block shit too? Like, like fucking Angerus? Yeah, get fucked. Yeah, now I'm running everywhere. Let's get that. Mogiro. Mmm, get all that shit. The mutants are gonna be our biggest fans, it looks like. Yeah! Fuck you, Mogira. I don't know how- uh, Oh, so he came from underground. How did he dig up here if we're, like, off the fucking earth right now? That doesn't make any sense. Come on. Just get over here, you Mysterio. Wait, how did he get- Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget. Wait, what? 
you lose a pr portion of your health after you achieve critical mass. I never realized that, but yeah, it's a true thing, so you're gonna want to be careful when using it. Oh good, he's, he's lost power for some reason. I don't know why he has that gimmick. Oh, damn it! Alright, we're getting close. I think a good... He keeps screwing me. Come on. Punch, give him the, give him the old one-two guy again. Same shit you gave to Godzilla. Yeah, come on, one more. One more of those. Come on! Why is he throwing them dupes up? Oh, fuck. Come on. That fucking crystal power would have worked wonders at this moment. Thank you. Let me go see if I can get a blue crystal somewhere. Uh, I think one of them just materialized over here. Oh, or I can just run into a fucking wall. Let's go. Pick him up. Yeah, give him the old... Ah! Even though I'm pretty sure that doesn't do that much damage to a metallic being. Come on. Get over here. Get that blue shit. Get that blue shit, guy again. Yeah! No more Mr. Nice Fucker. Come on. Now it's fucking karate chop the shit out of him. Let's see how he faces against the guy again. I love it in Final Wars when you just call him the guy again. Come on, with these jabs. Yeah, just stand there. You're looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Also, I guess it is we're destroying the, uh, the crystal there, so I guess that's why the defenders like it so much. But I don't understand, like, why the aliens dislike it. See, and once we abuse the crystals... It's not like they think they, they're like, hey, you know what? Yeah, never mind. It's like, what's good? What do you think's gonna happen by destroying the crystal? Yes, we have achieved critical mass. Look at how big he is. Look how big he grows. Guy yeah, is so cool. I think honestly, this is the coolest looking uh, monster reaching critical mass that we've seen so far. Oh, you bitch! Oh no, wait. It's gonna lower my tick. I just realized I put myself in mortal danger. Fuck, no! Come on, we gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up. This is gonna fuck us up right now. Come on, gotta keep the destruction up. Gotta keep the destruction going. Mm. Alright, one more should do it. And... No. Yeah, finally we defeated a monster. Fuck yeah, we defeated two monsters for the price of one. And the guy again rolls on. <laughs> Guy again. Alright, guys. Well, that about is going to wrap it up for this edition of Godzilla Unleashed. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed playing as the guy again. In the next episode, we're going to head to Tokyo, Japan, and see what's going on there. Although, I have a feeling we're going to obviously have faced it before, but you know, you know, I don't even fucking know. The business, the deal. Are the monsters real? Ah, I don't know, but next time. Uh, we're gonna go to Tokyo, and I hope you guys have a great night. Take care. Peace. Show some fire. Or whatever this is. Ectoplasm. I don't know. Let's, I, I want to be able to take out every single one of these monsters. I don't want any of the monsters to be taken out by anybody else. I want to be the one to hire and kill them. One of the get Norga, and there we go. We ate him. We completely ate him. Hey, look at that! We got all three Mechagodzillas now! Fucking finally, we have Mechagodzilla 2! The one monster we haven't seen in this game yet! Which is ironic, because Mechagodzilla 2 is actually the main, uh, monster in Destroy All Monsters that you have to fight. Oh, I think... Yeah, I did just take out...